Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start this Ksuvah stuff Memches. We're going to begin on Memches Amad Al, the sixth line from the top. So we concluded that there was an obligation of Sher Ksusah Na, that a man has an obligation to provide for his wife clothing, food, as well as marital relations. On this, the Gemara says, Tender Rabbi Yosef, Sher Zukir Basar. It doesn't just mean having Tashmish, but it means the man and woman coming close to one another without anything separating them. That one should not be knowing like the, per, uh, the Persians. That they actually have Tashmish with their clothes on. That is something in which is not within the parameters of what the Torah says. In fact, it's telling us that the Torah is requiring that that's not acceptable, which of course goes against the fallacy that people say that in Orthodox settings, they have this sheet with a hole in it, and that's how the husband and wife cohabit, which of course, not only is it something which isn't done, the Gemara here says explicitly it's not allowed to be done. So Masayle Rabhuna Diyama Rabhuna Haimer I Avshi Ella Ani Bavigdi Vihi Bavigda Yoitivnais and Ksuba. If a person says the only way this is gonna take place is if I'm wearing my garments and you have to wear your clothes, and that's how I'll have Tashmish, so that's not acceptable, and she can leave and she'll get her Ksuba. It's not a relationship. Rabihuna Aimer Phil Ani Shibi Swabahu. So Mukhad the Tanakama Savar Hani lo? So the question is, how is it possible that if that there's no obligation for the husband to take care of his wife's remains if she dies? So hey, Hanami, Eid Orcha, if it's the normal way that this is how she's supposed to be buried with the people, flutes and criers, so my tan tan akam and the lo. Then how can they say not? Be the lav Orcha, if this is not normal practice, my time there be Huda. Why would he say it's necessary when it's not even the, the practice? Let's read them, and this is going to be question number one. Kagon de orcha di day vlav orcha di da. It's her cost. It's his custom, but it's not her custom. So he has this additional um, elevated status of how the funeral should take place. So tanakam asavar kiam rinan. The only time we say that you're supposed to elevate and lift up your partner is only while they are alive. But once they've died, so that doesn't, it's not necessary. So that's a chokis. You have to elevate your spouse to a higher level. And the question is, does that also apply by Misa? Amr Abchista Amr Mar Ukva Halacha Rabihuda, the Halacha is like the Rabihuda, it's required. Amr Abchista Amr Mar Ukva, Mi Shinish Tata, based in Yardin Lachasov, Zanin Mafarnasin Es Ishto, Vana Uvanaisov, Vadabracher. So it says that if you have a person who Shinishtata uh, became a Shaita, so, because they lost their sanity, Basin can go to the possessions and make sure that the wife and the children are taken care of, as well as Dabar Acher, which is not so clear what that is. The Gemara is going to explain. So, I'm going to Ravashi, Maishna, Mahadasanya. Misha, when they see Yom, the person goes across country, Vi'ishtai Tovas Mazainis, and the woman uh, is asking for Mazonos. Uh, based in Yardul Nechasov, Vazan Mufarnas in Es Ishto. So we provide for this woman because her husband's left the country. But here's the key of Loba not the children and not this Dabracher. Again, I'll explain what Dabracher is, but the point is that we see that there's a distinction. No question is why should there be a distinction? In both situations, the man is not capable of supporting them. Either she, he's not here or he's a Shaita. So why in one case do we not give for the children on time we do? Someone who left with consent and someone who left without das. 
So if you left uh, with consent, ladas, so therefore, so in that situation, we just take care of the, the wife. But a person lost all of his abilities. So in that situation, we say that we also will take care of of the person, uh, of everyone. This is what Rashi says. Yatsim in a makam ladas, hayim biyadu latsavas al mezaynos, but of a noisav. The Ishto, the Lutziva, the fact that he didn't say anything, Gila died to Shana Rotsila Zunon. It's clear he doesn't want to help them. Hilcha says Rashi Ishto, the Machayavla, but Tanaik Suba, the man has an obligation to have her fed, so every Shtab and Nechase, or Benabonais of Lo. Now, when it comes to your children, you don't have a Chiv. So the fact that you could have said something and you just didn't, so therefore it's clear that you don't want to give to the children. Therefore, you only have to give to your wife because it's Tanaik Suba. However, a person became shaita, so in that situation, the Yatsim and the He didn't just go to another country, he's out of this world. So, therefore, we probably will assume that he probably wanted to continue to support his children, but we have no idea to know this definitively except to understand that's probably his intention, therefore, we should give them to. So, my Debarach, Rav Chista Oimer, Zetachshit. This is referring to. Taksha, which Rashi says are besamim shal avakas roichel. These are special spices that a peddler gives to this woman so that they should have this nice smell. Rabbi Yosef Eimer, sedaka. So man, you have a tachshit that you're supposed to provide this nice aroma or perfume, koshki and sedaka. Certainly, you should be giving them charity. Not even sedaka, but tachshit, yavin and la. However, if you say sedaka, when it comes to tachshit, yavin and la, We'll say that it's not good that she would be uh, maneuver. Okay, so the one who says Takshit lo yavin ishto, this is, this is actually the way you're supposed to read it. Rashi says the one who says that Takshit you don't give to the wife. Certainly, uh, it's not upon us to give sedaka. However, in the event that you may not want to give sedaka, but we'll still want to give some him. Um, because we assume that he's not going to want his wife to um, be a novel. person who traveled across abroad, Umesa Ishto, and his wife died. So, Umesa Ishto, so Basin Yadul Chasab, so the Basin can go into his possessions. The Karbanasa, because he has a Chiv to bury her, and he's not around, so the Basin can go into his estate. Lafikfo Do. According to his honor, so even according to his honor, that even after Misa, we go not, we, we don't just say it's at, during lifetime, we take a step up, even after Misa. So, Omer Rav Masna, the person says, if, she, if you die, I will not bury you. He's so in this case he's going to die first, and he makes this declaration. He says, "I'm going to die, but if you die, I'm not going to have pay for your expenses." Minachasim from my possession, my possession. So shomin loy. In that case, we will listen. My shna kiha the nafli nixi kame yasmi because when because he's going to predate her in death, so his nechasim are going to go to the asayim. So ki. What's the difference if he said it or not? Regardless, it's not going to be his money. He died and his kids have it. So who says that they would have to do, uh, even even if he wouldn't say anything, it wouldn't help. Uh, he wouldn't have, the, he said wouldn't have to do the kvura. El Aimer, if a person says, he makes who? If when I die, lo who that you should not bury me with my money, rather just get Sadaka to collect it. Don't use my money. Menachasav ain't shaman lo. We don't listen to him because Lav kol himenu shiyashir is bana viyapo atzmo al tzibor. It's an unbelievable line. So many powerful sentences in this top. That a person is not allowed to make his children rich at the expense of harming the tzibor. No. So therefore, you cannot say, I want the tzibor to take care of my kvura. And because of that, my children be rich. No. If that case, in that situation, we say that it's necessary that the money 
for your kvur will take will you take it from your state and we don't care what you say. Question TA two. So a person who becomes a shaita, so Basin can go into the possessions and also to to sustain the wife and also the children. So my nick so it says Dabr Acher. What's Dabr Acher? Mahadin Bahalakh Medina Sayyam. Okay, so that's a lot of parts. So it's a machok as if it's taksha or sadaka. When it goes to Medina Sayyam, you only have to feed the wife, but not the children. So that was T A T A two. So let me just find this. My davar acher, so Rav Chista Oimer zetachshe Rav Yosef Oimer zes sedaka, and the other point was over here. Mishnah Shtata based in Yardel and Chasam Bezonim of Farnas and Esishto uvanu uvanaisa v'davar acher. However, when it comes to Mishnah Machdina Sayam, so only Esishto of a low banav. So that's the difference, and we discuss why. T B three. So the answer is no, we don't. The question is why not? Is because he did it with das, and that's what we're gonna for T B three. I'm also gonna be writing down this Rashi over here. So again, there's this this chiluk. Uh, which is the language of the Gemara, but we would use this Rashi here as well. So it's Okay, let's continue now with the next Mishnah. That was TB3. Good. Mishnah. Well, Oyelam Hebrew Shusav. So this girl is considered Shusav. It's still, she's like in her father's domain. Achetichanis. <coughs> Until she enters, Memchasim Abbeis, or Shusabal, when the Suan. Once she is already in her husband's house and they're married. Now, what is this referring to? So Rashi says, Imbas Yisrael Morosa Lakain. So you have a Bas Yisrael, who is not allowed to eat truma. She gets engaged to a Kohen. So eventually she can eat truma. Or maybe even now. He ain't no Achilles for truma. No. She's not allowed to eat truma, even though Eris has taken place. We'll see Rashi why. Two reasons. So since she's considered to be in like her father's domain, so therefore the father is to all the different things, as we mentioned stipulated in the previous Mishnah, uh, uh, regarding the Metziasa, Made for and uh, um, other, other items as well, like her Masia Deha, or what she finds. Fine. So let's continue now in Mem Chesim and Beis in the Mishnah. Masar Avu Shlichabal. Let's say she's not yet in her husband's house, but he gave over a, uh, a Shliach uh, to have her go over to his, his house. And basically, um, as Rashi explains, so let's continue. So he bershus abal. So at that moment, it's no longer in her. She's no longer in her father's domain. So as long as the father gave her over the, to the shluchi abal and shluch shalom kamosu, so therefore the shliach abal is going to bring the bring her over to the bal himself. So therefore, it's like it's already in the. She's already in the bal's domain. Halach av im shluchi abal. Let's say the father accompanies her. Or shaholchu shluchi av im shluchi abal. Or the shulchi av go with the shulchi abal. Harihi brishos av. So the din is it's still brishos av because the father hasn't walked away. It's not just an, enough that he gives over his daughter, but it's the, the fact that he walks away is the notion too. Masu shulchi av or shulchi abal. If the shulchi av once the shulchi av give over the shulchi abal, harihi brishos abal. Okay. So my oil. What does it mean that she's always in the father's domain? Well, what is that coming to add? to exclude the first Mishnah, which is in Parakafal P, did not Hagizman Let's say again he was supposed to marry her after 12, 12 months. After twelve months he's already now Mukhiv to provide her with Mazonos or for an Alman the thirty days. Vonisa and he doesn't marry her. For example, let's say the Chassan just holds doesn't marry her right away. There's some type of an oinus as we saw in the beginning of this Masakta. So it then is she can we make sure that she's able to eat 
eat. And also, even though the daughter um, is only Marasas to a Kohen, she could eat Truma. Kamashimulan, Lo'oyulam. That's what's coming to say. No, even after the 12 months have gone by, she's still not allowed to eat Truma. Masar Abu Shulchi Habal. Um, fine. So once the fa the father gives her over to the Baal, the Shulchim of the Baal, her Hebrew shows a Baal Bechul. Umrav Mesirasa, L'choyol, she's considered to be given over for everything, Chutz Metruma, with the exception of Truma. Namely, that even though the father really is not connected her anymore, it's over, still just given over to the Shulchim of Baal, just the husband hasn't seen her yet. So that's the one exception. She's not allowed to eat Truma. And this is going to be question two. But my tole hanidan in Masiris Abu Shulchabal, Machil Batruma. So Rav Asi Yoimir Abu Truma. So what's the Naf Kamina? So the Gemara in Kedushin and elsewhere, Rashi quotes the time of the Dumishum Simpun. That it's brought down in Perak Afal P, which we'll see. That the Akati Iko Mecha Shulhachi, Shem Yimsu Bamum and Bahay Kudisham and Useha Tois. So maybe. Until the husband actually sees her, and sees her um, in, in without clothing, let's say, so or certain parts of her body are exposed, and he finds out that she has a blemish, and he found that repulsive, and she should have told him that there was something wrong with her. So then it's going to be a kadushi tais. So we don't want her to eat truma, or we can say no. Rashi says the reason why you could is because the second reason why during Arison she doesn't eat truma is Mishum Shem Yimzgula Kais Bavesavia, but Tishka Lachel Lachoiseha, the Hashem de Eno Lachel Vachosa, that's Lashari. So the whole issue is because she's in her father's house and her brothers are there, her sisters. So if we allow her to start eating truma, which technically technically she's allowed to because she had Arison, but if that happens, she's going to have all this truma food all over the place and she's in a house of non Kohanim, so maybe her brothers and sisters, this was why. Why the Gemara doesn't over there say your father? But it's possible that people in your house are going to start eating the truma. So therefore, the only time it's an issue is if she's still there. But now she is to go the shulche habal, so it's not an issue to be able to eat truma. So according to Ravasi, you say that um, she's get that it's not an issue anymore. The Ravasi oilum he brushos avach lechazuchop. It says oilum. That it's until she was mamish given over to chuppah, still she is not able, not allowed to eat truma. So how can you say that she's allowed to eat truma? Uh, it, it doesn't sound correct. So Amru Lahu Rav Lava Minuhu, I tell you, Lotel Zobasa, if I don't have to the backwards. Yachal Ishnu Yuhu, Messirasa Zuhi, Knisasal Chopa. The fact that he gave her over, that's comparable to Knisasal Chopa, which we know also like the non Jewish customs that the, the, the husband, uh, the father rather, gives over his daughter to the husband. So there's an element by the Chopa, or at the time of this wedding, that there's an element of Messirasa. So there's this connection between Mr. Rasa's who can also look and therefore that's enough. Shmuel Oymer Lirushasa. Actually, and this is going to be question three, La Eil Devarim Koyama Lupli the Mr. Rasa Abba Shulich Abal Havi Kechopa. These things, everyone, no one argues, the giving over the father, the father giving her over to the Shulchim is comparable to Chopa, so it's possible. It's referring to Yerusha, okay? So what is that referring to regarding Yerusha? So Rashi says, um, Why? If let's say she dies on the road, That the man, uh, her husband, will get the dowry. Can, skipping a couple lines of Rashi, Kivan the Masra, since he was given over, he, the father gave her over, Achuli Achal Av, he was Michael. Av Latruma, we also said before, the dowry is Tali on the Shidduch by the Arison. Av Latruma, Lafaris Nedereha, when it comes to Truma, or being made for Neder, Shalom B'Shutvis, Mum Siyasa, and also finding the last object, the Enu El Mishum Eva, is because of Eva. Vekati Leiko Mechel Shalhachi. We say it's not like that. So when it comes to Yerusha, that is one element where we find that giving her over is considered to be 
like chupa. Reish Lakish Amel Ksubasa. It's referring to the to the Ksuba. What is that? Rashi says, Huda Mahani Masira, Vahash the Kaboy Hashas will milse. So Ksu the Gemara is going to ask, Subasa Mahi, the Imesa, does it mean that if she dies, Yoris Law, that he's going to inherit her? So Haina de Shmuel, it's the same thing that has to do with a dowry. So Chaira, that's not really much of an argument. So Am Rabin will Oimer to say, Ksubasa me Achamana. It, it's referring to if she marries someone else. As Rashi was Shavi Almana Mina Nesuin. That she'll be considered like an Almana from the time of Nesuin. Shotikinu Achachamim Almana Min Hakainsa Achrikain. So therefore, that if she marries someone else, the Ksuba is only going to be a hundred. Rav Yochan and Rav Hanina, Deber Tevayu, Misirasal Koyal, Afla Truma. Actually, also when it comes to truma, it, it's it's comparable. Let's say the father goes together with the shulchan of the hu- of the husband. Oh, the father's shulchan went with the husband's shulchan. Oh, so there's still this link back to the father. Oh, let's say there was some type of a courtyard in the way. And they went together there to to sleep. So Afal Pishu Ksubasa Bemes Bawa, even the Ksuba is in the hus totally in the house of the husband, Mesa, if she dies, Avia Yarsha, the Yerusha goes back to the father. Masar Abu Shulchebal, but once the father gives her over, Osha Masa Shulche Abu Shulchebal, the Shluchim give her over to the Shluchim of the husband. Oh, Shahai Saloi Khatsir Baderh there again there is this uh courtyard uh, which is on the road, but they went there not to sleep, but they went there for the sake of actually performing the suin. At that moment, now the husband is Yarish because they're like completely married. So, when do we say this? When it comes to inheriting. When it comes to her eating truma, in isha chelus betruma, she chelus chapa. We actually require her to first be married. So tiyofta de kuhu tiyofta. So it's actually a tiyofta. So hagufa kasha. Arma nechnasimo wawin. So he said, if let's say she's going there just to sleep, so therefore the father will have the right to her, to the uh, the arusha if she dies. So time of the lowin. The whole reason is why they went there was to lie down to sleep. If they just did stam, it's the suin, says Rashi. You didn't do it for sleeping, you didn't go for um, marriage, just plainly. So So the question is, when it comes to stam, in a situation wasn't done with a kavana of lowen or a nesuin, what's the din? So Ravashi Stami stame katani. Stam stam it mentions. What does that mean? Stam chatzer didolon. When it comes to a stam chatzer, uh, it's uh, which is hers, it's to sleep. Stam chatzer diday, if it's his, then it's suin. So therefore, it's totally on whose it is. Okay. Tan maser al v'shulach yabal Let's say the man. Uh, gave her over to the Shulchim, and then she was Mazana. Now, even though normally by an Arison we say Namarasa is the punishment of Skila, here the din is Hari Zubachenek. Already she now is in the status of, of Chenek. So, this is another case again where giving over uh, makes that difference, not just by Yerusha, but also the Misasa Bachenek im Zinso. Um, so how do we know that giving over uh, that also removes her status that she no longer gets skila? What does that mean? Not that she was mazan mamish in the house of her father, but this is coming to exclude rak a prat If she was already given over to the shulchebal. Even at that status, she gets chanak. Maybe it's just coming to exclude that she actually already went to chuppah, but she didn't have beer yet. Even in that situation, the din is chanak. So, 
When it comes to chuppah, it's behedik siva. Ki yen nara besulam or rasal ish. Nara bo bogeras. The punishment is she has to be between 12 and 12 and a half. Besulam bo beula. It's only when she's a besula. Marasa bo nesua. So we already know it has to be during Eris and not during Chup, which is Nesuin. So we already know certainly it's not talking about where she was already being Moisel Chuppa. So my Nesuah. Elam Nesuah Mamish that she's completely married 100%. Haina Besula. Beula Beula. That means they already had Bia, he consummated the marriage. Now, Lav, she nichnes lo Chuppa vlo Nivula. So instead, it's talking about she nichnes lo Chuppa vlo Nivula. So therefore, again, we're going to stop at this point. So again, when it comes to a situation where she was given over to Shluchi Habal, at that moment, no longer is there a din of of chenek, uh, of, of skila, but rather the din is is chenek. Let's see if there's any questions that we didn't do yet. Okay.